Welcome back to this uh, channel. This is uh, AutoCAD for engineering. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. Today we'll uh, start talking about the 3D modeling and this is lesson number 37. In this lesson we'll uh, talk about the some of the commands which is con, sphere, pyramid, wedge and torus. Let's we'll start with the, the con. So we'll just make here another another page, we'll just change the page here, making the new page. So when we go to the 3D modeling, so we need to make some here uh, some change because at the first uh, site you have uh, the unsaved view, so you need to choose the view that you want to make your drawing. But I like to use the surf east, surf west, isometric. So this gives me all. Oh, you can also change with another one here, uh, north northwest. Or oh. so it is up to you. Just use this one. Now we can make uh, here the cone, and uh, we activate the cone first. And once you activate the cone, you, you have here down three options. So you have three point, two point, tan tangent, and elliptical. Let's start doing just the basic one. So sp specify the center point. We just click the, there and then click. Now give the height, click. So we have here in the 2D wireframe, we just also change here the view with the shaded. Now we can uh, see uh, with a good, very good uh, view. So let's make another cone. Now we can make the cone, right? Uh, also specify the first point, second one, and then go to, to the height. If you, if you know the dimension, you just type like six, and then enter. You can also make the cone using a three point, two point, as I have already said, but uh, let's just make it here uh, like to a box to give a good example. Okay, so we can make here the con using three points. I'm gonna come here, click to the three points, click, and then we can, we can come here. This is the first point, second point, and the third point. Now move up and then give the height or down. So it's up to you, I'll just go up and then give the height, to, in this case will be three, enter. We can also make the cone using two points. Uh, I'm gonna use here the another another one. I'll, I'll just here use another cylinder here. Okay, and then go up. Good. I'm gonna use the cone using two points. To make that, just click the two points and then specify the first point. I'm gonna ju just use this one here, the center of this cylinder here. Click. And then let's go to this side and then to the edge of this box and then specify the the height so we'll just put here five and then enter so that's the way we make the cone using two points we can also make the cone as we can see here uh, when we activate the cone we, we also have tan tangent so this means that if you go here we can specify the tangent i'm, I'm, I'm gonna use this one here this first tangent click there and then click there now specify the radius i will put here three as the radius and then give enter now specify the height i'm gonna put here seven and then enter you can also change the color by double clicking so if we double click in the cone we're gonna have by default the color is white you can change with the color you want i'm gonna put here like reds it's okay now done i'm gonna come so here and then, then change this this color double click and then put the color you want i'm going to put here like yellow okay so you can change the color according to what you want all right and then here can be also let's see blue good so um when we activate the con we also have another option which is lithical this means that you can make the con using lithical right then see what happens so we can make this and then we can 
change in this position and then move up so that's the lithical uh, cone so we, that's the way we, we make the lithical cone and uh, we also can make uh, the cone right in any direction so right now we just uh, make the cone using uh, up and down we can also activate the cone here make the cone and then so when you go up you have here the option to click to the end axis now you can change the position you you want to make your cone i'm, I'm going to just keep this on here and then will be uh, like seven tab and then specify the angle which will be the direction of your cone we'll just put here 143 degree and then enter so that's the way we make the cone and also you can change uh, the radius of the top so just go there first one the base and then go up so in this case the up you can also change by clicking here top radius and then specify the radius you want i'm gonna uh, here specify and put here let's see one and then enter so and then go up so we'll have here the radio on the top one and then on the bottom let's just make another one here just move a little bit here okay i'm gonna make another one click right this is the base i'm gonna put the base three then enter now the top come here to the top click to the top and then you specify the top uh will it be let's uh, see here uh, zero 0.5 and then enter so now you have the top so when you select the cone you have here the option also to move you can click here to move up to move to one side or to these sides but here as well you have another error is you can see very well it is uh, in, in, in blue if you click here you can change the dimension of your cone okay so as you can see here i have already changed i can also change on the top so that's the way we use the cone so i hope you like this one and then let's go to the next one and just move right there and then we'll go to the next one which is the sphere the sphere is more simple just specify the center point and then make the sphere so just it uh go there again you can also make the sphere as the cone in three points two point and tangent so um to make that let's uh the select first and then uh, use here the two point i'm just here use the box to have a good understanding okay now we're gonna make the sphere using first three points i'm gonna come here click three points and then specify the first point second point and third point which is here done so we made the the cone using a uh, three point and the same we can also make using uh two points come here click to the two point and then this is the first and then here is second point click so done you can also make the the sphere using uh, uh, tangent and then i'm gonna just make here another another sphere this is, this is uh, the, the one cylinder cylinder now i can make the, the sphere using also a tangent and come here click tangent this is the first one and here is the second one and then specify the radius i'm gonna put here like 2.4 enter so we just make the sphere using the tangent so that's the way we we can make right and then that's the way uh, we can make can so turn here so that's the way we can make the, the sphere using uh, tan 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 now next uh, command will be here the pyramids so by default when we add pyramid so will be always with the four sides okay so let's just make here one to, to have an example uh, this one will be like six because the last time I use uh, the pyramid with eight eight sides. But when you activate 
you have the option to change the sides of the, your pyramid so here i have one two three four eight sides so come here click to the sides so uh now in mine come like eight sides but in yours will come four because it's by the default you can just come there and then make the pyramid now you can see here you you have uh, the pyramid with uh, four sides and then go up but note that when you activate so you have here the and uh, you start making the the pyramid will give you the option inscribe if you click there you have the option circumscribe so to have a good understanding about the difference between these two uh, technology circumscribe and uh, scribes i have the lesson number five where i talk about the 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 Pauline and the others um, polygon I explain step by steps the difference between scribes and scribe just go there and have a look to have a good understanding but just click here right scribes and then make the base and then go up so we can also change the side or add the side I'll just come here to to the to the sides and then make so just put here a little uh, example six then give enter make if you know the dimension just put type four go tab and then here you can go ahead so I just have here like this one to be just go back and then uh, pyramid enter now the base if you know the, the dimension, put here is five, and then done. So with six sides, you can also make using like eight sides. Just come here to the side and then click to the sides, and then uh, change type eight. Go enter, make the pyramid. Okay, uh, you can also make the pyramid using the edge. What is the edge? The edge is like from this point. To that point is one edge so if you want that your pyramid to be uh, one of the edge in, in the two specific points for instance i want to be i want that my my pyramid be between this point and the, this point just come here to the edge now sp specify the the edge this is the first one and here is the second one so you can see that one of my edge then go up you can see that one of my edge it is is between these two points that's the way we make and the same as uh, the the cone you can also make the pyramids in a different direction or axis let's just make it here the pyramid right you can also change by uh, coming here axis and the point and then you can also change the position okay uh, let's see that you want to be like nine and then tap now define the angle, we just put here 30 degree and then enter. So you can change the position of the axis of your pyramids. And uh, the same as the cone, you can also change the top radius, okay? If I come here, click, and then make the pyramids, you can also change the top radius by going right here, to the top, and then like, let's just put here like one and then enter. So you have here your the top radius is one okay so that's the way we make the pyramid and uh, so that's the end of this uh, command pyramid now to the next one we we go to the wedge to make the wedge uh, it is also simple uh, to make the wedge just you know specify the the first corner and then second one you can also come here the put right so you have and um, this this one here this this wedge you can also change uh, the the position but when you you make all the times it seems that it will give you all the same direction but you can change this direction by coming uh, when you select so you can go to the length right go to the length and then select the one you want or just put here like uh, let's let's see six then go to the tab and then 
change the uh, we'll put here 90 degree and then enter now specify the, the weed uh, just put here the weed will be uh, 0 0.8 then just hit so now click enter it is done so you can see here in uh, 90 degree so it is opposite of, of this one you cannot see very well but you can turn using this one you can see we we change to the, the wedge let's just do again another one to have a good understanding uh, so select the base point come here to, to the length and then uh, you you will have um, uh, 10 and then enter specify the angle 90 degree enter specify the width let's see 6 enter so you can see here the height now go up so you can see we change the position just by doing that so that's the way we make the uh, the wedge and uh, also the same thing you can also make the, the wedge using the center point and then you can also uh, come here like this center point of the the wedge the new wedge you can just come and then go up and then done so that's pretty much about uh, the wedge you can also make um, the the wedge the cubic wedge which will be with the same dimension in all direction you can just come there and then this is the cubic what we have to just one one dimension what will be the same for all the sides so that's the way we make the wedge now let's go and make the torus okay torus will be the last for this uh for this um lesson specify the point and then you need to make here like the two radios so the base radio and the cubic radio so for this one i'm gonna put like five and then uh, type enter now specify the cubic radius here i'm gonna put like one and then enter so that's the tb radio so that's the way we make the torus so torus you need to specify the two radio so come here and then mic and then done the same here uh, when you activate the command of the 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 the, the torus you have the option to make in three points two point and the tan tangent i'm, I'm going to use here like two point here click the two points will be the center first point and second point will be also the center here then you click now specify the tb radius done so we make the tour using the two point and also we can make the tour using three point i'm gonna use here another one to make like uh, in a three point all right so we can make the tour using three point activate the command come here three point click now we can also make this is uh, the first center this is um the second center will be here so second point and then here will be the third point so and then you you can make so that's i'm gonna just uh, go back to make good one first point second point and then third point now specify so this is the way we make the torus so you can make the torus using three points and uh we can also make another one another example like box you have here like this box and then another box and another one so you can make your torus using three points this is three point here this is the the first point second point and third point then just it so that's the way we you make the torus and you can also make the the, the, the torus using the tan, tangent and it will be the same principle as the others we have already uh, learned here so i'm gonna here make uh, this one and then another one here so we can make here the torus using the tangent of this two cylinder this is the first one first tangent second tangent and then spe specify the angle I uh, will be like 4.3 enter now specify the second one will be here 1.2 
then enter so that's the end of this lesson i hope you like and please don't forget to subscribe and see you to the next lesson